Hello everybody, I'm John. And I'm Matt. And this would be when you'd normally see your regular scheduled Matt reviews. But we watched Steve and Eric. <laughs> yeah, we uh we didn't get around to getting a movie in for this week. Because we watched Steve and Eric. I don't think they even understand what you're saying. Because we were watching Tim and Eric's awesome show. There you go. That wasn't necessarily the reason. It just it just neither one of us really had time to get a yeah. movie in that we both could watch both the review. Yeah. You may have to buy some more. <laughs> so what we have instead is a review that was supposed to have been up back in November. Well, we got lazy to put it up. <laughs> that is not the reason at all. Mm. I edited it, put it together, and it was, I think, too long. 30 seconds over 15 minutes. <laughs> and YouTube would not allow me to put it up. <laughs> so that really angered me. YouTube, why? Uh, what this is also is uh, back in November. What did we review, Matt? Was it Wrath of the Dragon? No. What, what, what was what? the theme for November? Dragon November. Something like that. <laughs> DBZ, DBZ November, which we reviewed uh, nothing but the, all the Dragon Ball Z movies, and this was supposed to have been the very last review, which was Dragon Ball Z Wrath of the Dragon. Wrath of the Dragon. So, <coughs> what you're going to be seeing this week is the uncut review of Wrath of the Dragon. Because now, supposedly, we're supposed to be allowed to put up over 15 minutes worth of footage. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll go check that. So if you don't ever, if you don't see this uh, on Friday, then you know that we were unsuccessful. They were like, damn it, there's a real movie. So as we said throughout all of DB November, thank you for watching. Yeah. Yeah, and some of you didn't watch. <laughs> and the fish just jumped. Yep. Tune in next week, and we'll have a regular Matt review up, hopefully. And also, we have... Like kind of like a trailer thing coming up soon for the summer of camp. That's right. Summer of camp, which will be all summer long, us reviewing our favorite cheesy, crappy movies, leading up oh, to we... hopefully our first ever fan commentary. Yeah. <laughs> which we're gonna keep the movie under a secret wraps until me and Matt completely discuss what we're gonna do with it, and we'll see what happens. This is also just starting to run very long. So next week, we'll either have a regular Matt review, or we'll start our summer of camp review. We don't know what we're going to do yet. We don't know yet. So stay tuned, guys, and uh, enjoy this. Because this doesn't have this even doesn't even have the regular Matt reviews intro. This still has the DBZ, don't stop, don't, don't stop, stop wearing on now <laughs> intro. So uh, thank you all for watching, and see you all next week. Yeah. Somebody murder me! <laughs> our last movie and it is Wrath of the Dragon Wrath of the Dragon 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 welcome and they definitely went out with a bang at this one yeah um ah. this has a lot going on in this it's not an easy one to describe no like only the last one was hard to describe just in the uh -huh. factor but this is actually Hitler. got a good this is actually got a good plot and like kind of hard Hitler's to... dead in this one basically it starts out with Gohan and Videl who are the superheroes of the town which in the movie they're called Say a Man 1 and Say a Man 2, but I'm pretty sure in the show it was Say a Man and Say a Girl. Right. Say a Man. Like she's a man. Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> say a man. You're a man. <laughs> You're not a man. <laughs> Anyways. You're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and, uh. This guy threatens to commit suicide. He's this red dude. I can't remember his name. Do you? 
turd face. No, it's not turd face. Um, <laughs> and he jumps, and they save him. And it turned out it was all a plot because they he needed their help to find the Dragon Balls <sighs> to release this guy named Tate. Tate. Yeah, I guess. Hey, fun, I can't remember exactly. Um, so we can remember, me and him were arguing about your main wrestling. Uh, anyways, uh, so Tapin is this hero. No, it's fine. Okay. Uh, this hero that uh saved his world from this monster, and um, he wants it to release because the guy says that the monster is going to attack Earth. So they get the Dragon Balls together, and they wish Tapin to be released from the music box. And Tapin comes out and he's this guy with a mohawk. Looks a little like Link and plays an ocarina. <laughs> but you find out that the guy who wanted him released is not such a good guy. No. He wanted him released because him... He's like Garlic Jr. but more retarded. <laughs> he's like... He, he wants his thing because Tapin and his brothers back in the day when they defeated this monster cut it in half and the halves were fused inside of their bodies and they were trapped into the music boxes. I learned how bad that would hurt. That would probably suck. Um, so his brother's already been killed and the monster's been released, the uh, lower half, and this guy needs Tapin to release the upper half. Well, eventually, yes. it happens, <laughs> and it's up to Goku and all the guys to defeat the... Even Tapin. Yeah, even Tapin, to defeat this beast and uh, save the world. Oh, it's, it's hard to describe. How yeah, this is it's very, very different. Like The last one was very different in a not-so-good way. This one, this one's very different in a really good way. Like this is probably. Is anybody gonna make a wish? <laughs> That's the last movie. This this is a really really good movie. I must have realized something about all the movies. I think every. I'm a, you can correct me if this if I'm wrong. Every single one of the Dragon Ball Z films, at least has the Dragon Balls in it. Not a hundred percent sure. I don't think the last oh, one Oh, Edward 13 didn't have any. I don't think the last one did either. But a lot of them do. Oh, yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. The last one did. Remember? Yeah. Oh, movie? you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to make a wish. <laughs> um, anyways, this is a... Crazy. I mean, like, the one thing I noticed right off the bat is how good the movie looks. Yeah, instead of having a stupid black outline. Well, I think that was level. meant on I think it was meant to look like a comic book in that section. Why? Like, I really think that last movie was, was meant to be a more experimental... Dragon Ball Z film, and this one, like, let's bring it back to what it's supposed to be. Yeah, what it, what it usually is, <laughs> and uh, it, this works a lot for me. I thought this was like probably I don't know if it is the best, but, but it's, it's definitely one of, like, one of the it's best. A contender. It is a contender for the best. It's a contender because <laughs> it's weird because like the fight is not your typical Dragon Ball Z fight. It's not two no. guys like whoosh, whoosh. it's them versus this gigantic cockroach-looking beast. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I was thinking when I first seen it. One more time, re like. <laughs> it doesn't go without its weird moments, though. Like mm. Say a Man Two. <laughs> That's a little strange. I've never been a fan of the Great Say a Man. <laughs> never been a fan. I mean, that's always my least uh. favorite thing to ever be in Dragon Ball Z. And if you don't know what Great Say a Man is, basically it's Gohan, but dressed as a superhero because he doesn't want his identity. No. Yeah, he wants to save people, but he doesn't want people to know who he is. I just thought of something. You will laugh when I say this. Um, you have a, she says Great Saiyan Man in this one? Two? Mm-hmm. <laughs> in the last movie they kissed. <laughs> Go on. How dare you. Well, eventually they would get married and have pants, so I guess it's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but... I mean, like, <laughs> it's hard to just talk about this movie because there is so much going on in it. Like, T- Tapin is a, is a great character. He, he, he builds a friendship with Trunks. And then he goes... And there's a little <laughs> bit... There's, there is some continuity issues in this one, as there is with every Dragon Ball Z film. Uh, the two biggest ones is, one, is they need to say a man thing. If this is after Same Majin, is Amen too. If this is after the Majin Buu saga, which clearly it is, then everybody already knows who Great Saiyan is because he has to reveal himself at the tournament. <laughs> he doesn't tape. make any sense either. And at the very end of the movie, Tapin gives Trunks a sword, and Future Trunks has a sword. a sword. So I guess what they're trying to get at is like, this is when he got his sword, 
But in the moon. But if you know anything about the show, Trunks gets his sword from Gohan in the future. But I guess it's an alternate future. I don't know. That's always confusing. <laughs> no point getting into that. But <sighs> let's just talk about what's good about this movie. For one, the animation is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. It's not, there's no outline. Well, yeah, I think I was supposed to look like that. I don't care, look at the It did, but, um, two is I like the characters. I like every, all the characters that are used well, except for maybe Vegeta. Vegeta's a little underused in this movie. Yeah, he could be. And he's a little gal, I think, I think Tavin was after his girl. Oh. Oh. I'll just think about it logically. It's Vegeta. <laughs> if you came home, right? And then there's a guy there. There's just a guy in your house, and you'd be like, <gasps> Who is this? <laughs> Who is this piano so like, Oh, it's Trunk's friend. He looks to be 25. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um... <laughs> You're cheating on me with that stupid... He's a little song. underused, but I think everybody else has done it really well. Especially Tathan. Like, cause they're in, yeah. like, they had one movie to build this character. Like, I think this is the only movie that has a new good guy. Mm. I don't think of anybody else. No. <laughs> but they do a good job. I mean, they build his story up well. You have sympathy for him. And there's a great scene at the end where he's trying to talk Trunks into killing him so that the monster won't be released. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a great scene. Fantastic. Which doesn't happen. Uh, unfortunately, no. The monster gets released. <laughs> <laughs> now, one little Wait, complaint. One more replay. <laughs> <laughs> one little complaint. Tiny, teeny weeny complaint. Teeny weeny. Is how Goku defeats the monster. Two weird things about it. One is basically he has to make the monster angry to make it make a mistake. So he's like, come on, you big fat head, and stuff like that. Oh. It's like the last movie all over again with Pac on. <laughs> <laughs> and then he uses a tag that has never showed up in the, any of the shows. Dragon of the Darkness One! It's a little like that. Basically, it's like, I think he calls it like Dragon Fist or something like that. Yeah, and Dragon he, Fist. And he punches through the monster and then a golden dragon wraps around him. Clearly, Dragon of the Darkness Flame. <laughs> well, not necessarily. And then blows him up. <laughs> not that it's bad. It's pretty cool. It's just a little weird. Oh, I mean, that's about all I can think of talking about the movie. It's, it's good. It's really good. I enjoyed watching it. It's a whole heck it's of a lot better. It's one of the best. Than, it's a whole heck of a lot better than Fusion Reborn. So. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to give Wrath of the Dragon? I'll, I'll give it a four and a half. I'll give it a four and a half as well. I think Yay. it's an excellent little Wait, movie. We agree. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Folks, I really knocked him out. <laughs> That's Wrath of the Dragon. Great movie. Fantastic way to end the Dragon Ball Z movies. That's not all the Dragon Ball Z movies, though, because there is the two that we're not going to talk about because they're, I don't consider them movies. I consider them specials. Maybe another time. Another time. Uh -huh. But of the 13 Dragon Ball Z movies, that's it. We're done. We did it. Woo! <laughs> now, I wanted to keep the Wrath of the Dragon review under 10 minutes to give us a little... <gasps> <laughs> to give us five minutes to kind of go back and... Look at the good times. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start out with this, Matt. What was, of the 13 films, what was your favorite? Tremont. Tree Might. Never, nothing was better than Tree Might? Nope. Tree Might was really good. I enjoyed that movie a lot. Totally like the Josh Kostick <laughs> of Dragon Ball Z. If you don't know who Josh Kostick is, that's a funny joke. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd have to say my favorite was probably Burly the Legendary Super Saiyan. I really that enjoyed That was my second favorite. I really enjoyed and uh, pretty greatly enjoyed that movie. And number three has to be the one we just reviewed. Yeah, Wrath of Dragon, I really. But Terms of Chronic, uh, Cooler's Revenge is good. I mean, 90, I'd say 90% of these movies were good. Hold on. Let's do, like, a little thing. How many did we like? How many did we like? Uh, Dead Zone was good. Yeah. Tree of Might's good. Um, Lord Slug. Um, um, Lord Slug. Revenge of Cooler. We like Return of Cooler. Yeah. Broly, Legendary Super Saiyan. Bojack. We didn't mind it. I mean, I don't think we raved about it, but we liked it. Yeah. Super Android 13. <laughs> All of that one. Broly the Second Coming. We liked it. Well, I don't like it that much. Well, I liked it. 
Um. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and Wrath of Dragon. We like 10 movies out of the 13. Thir oh, we didn't like <laughs> So we didn't like, we didn't like World Strongest. Fusion Reborn. Fusion Reborn and Bio Broly. Although, no, no, Snit Broly. <laughs> now let me preference this. Broly Legend, Broly the Second Coming, Bio Broly are two films that after watching Fusion Reborn, I might think differently about going back and rewatching them. Cause <laughs> now Matt, what was your least favorite of the films? That's tough. I know what yours is. It was the very first bad Dragon Ball Z film we watched. World strongest. World strongest. Now let me say this: they may be a cut out there somewhere with the original voice actors. If you can find it, tell us. Yeah, because World Strongest would be a great movie. If the voice actors are like, yeah. it's just it's really distracting seeing those voices on characters <sighs> that have already been such a so established, you know. And one more thing before we have to turn this video off. I ain't turning off yet. <laughs> you quit? <laughs> you quit? <laughs> My least favorite had to be Fusion Reborn, which is weird because I looked up online. A lot of people love that movie. They haven't seen. They're not really Dragon Ball Z fans. <laughs> I don't know if that was just something I missed or didn't understand about, it, or if I need to go back and rewatch it or what, because I just didn't like it. I mean, John, you're gonna be sitting there, sitting here like. <laughs> <laughs> I just I didn't get it. I don't understand the love for that movie. I just feel it has everything that's wrong with it. You know? <laughs> Is what's wrong with Dragon Ball Z in general? Too stupid. Doesn't make any sense. It's all over the place with continuity. You know. I'm starting to think this was fan made. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, if you're a fan of Dragon Ball Z, it's surely you got you. You do something better than that. I don't know. Oh, I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna get sit here and snit on Fusion Reborn and tell everybody that likes it's an idiot because I mean, if you like it, good. I do really like a movie and dislike a movie. <laughs> True. But let's let's do this. Let's rank the Dragon Ball Z films as a whole. Out of five, what would you say about the Dragon Ball Z film series as a whole? How about four and a half? I'm gonna agree. Poof! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna agree. Oh my god, this is probably the longest bet review ever. No. The Halloween edition. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> that was like 20 something minutes. But yeah, I agree. Four and a half. I think the Dragon Ball Z franchise is fantastic. The box sets are coming out. You can get them. Like, I think six through nine is coming out soon. Which Ooh, is like We watched all these on VHS. Okay. We watched a lot of them on VHS. Yeah. Not all of them. We can't say we watched some of these. Wink, wink. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I recommend picking up all of these, even the ones we didn't like that if much. If you're a Dragon Ball Z fan. If you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, check them all out. I mean, I don't see no reason not to. Even if you're not, just check it out. So that's it for uh, the month of Dragon November. Ball Z yep. So. Next month we're going back to the regular format. Only we're going back to the. We're going back to the past. Only we're going with uh, Fridays. So we're out of time, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm John. I'm Matt. See ya.